shooting just for fun, self-defense and hunting. Is this all possible with the Whipshot bow from AK Archery? I will try it out. Welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. At first I want to tell you in a short time what the Whipshot bow is. It is a compound bow very lightweight and it is a magazine bow that means there are uh, there is a magazine included which fits six arrows and you can shoot those arrows in a very short time but the great thing is you must you don't must be an expert in bow shooting and you also don't must to be very strong also beginners and also persons with not mu much muscle mass can uh, shoot with them. So you know I'm a small tiny person but I can work with this bow so you can uh, adjust it for yourself that it is really um, fit into your muscle mass and this makes the bow just great. I do not want to tell you every detail about the Whipshot bow because you can read everything in the World Wide Web. I will put you the right link in the video description. Just very short. This here is the magazine. Actually it is empty of course. So and this here holds the arrows down. And if you want to load it you just can put it outside like I do it now or just move it at the side here. And now you can bring all the arrows inside. The red dot make the shooting very easy because you just can't fail the point where you want to shoot at. You can switch between green and red color and now you can see why I love this bow. You can make this movement very easy. You just can adjust it like you need it. If you're a strong person you can fit it to your muscles. If you are a small person like I am you can also make it the bow that it fits perfect, that you just have not to use so much muscles and you can just shoot very easy. So if you make this here, this here is the important part then of the bow because this here starts the shooting of the arrow. But now I've talked enough, let's start shooting. Today I have three different arrows. You can see the difference. So these are hunting arrows and this, and they are just for practice. And with the practice arrows, I want to show you how the bow works. Or you can also see how fast it works and how effective it works. And with the hunting arrows, I want to show you something special because I want to show you a realistic target. So my target was alive yesterday because I want to show you how it really works in an uh, animal's body if they are really effective or not. The arrow has here at the end a special shape, this knock here, and this fits perfect here inside of the magazine. So you just have to put it in right there, it's very easy and it's very fast. And then when you have all the arrows inside, you just put this item here on. <laughs> so now everything is ready. As you can see, it is very fast and very easy. I don't fix any target, only this what I showed you before. At first, I just want to show you how fast this bow is, how fast you can shoot the six arrows. So I'm not looking for a perfect arrow view, I just want to show you how fast it is. Okay, I just want to shoot in a very short time and don't look that I shoot at the exact point, but it is okay.
this arrow are 240 FPS. Um, so this is a very good time. I don't show at the clock how much time I need for these six arrows, but I want to say maybe one arrow, one second, six arrow, six, six seconds. So at home in the uh, movie cutting program, I can see it exactly, but by a normal bow and regular traditional bow, you cannot do this in a, such, a, such a short time. So you had to grab the arrow, then you had to fix it and you have to um, make this move and it is not possible to shoot in the same time like here at the whip shot bow. My focus was not at the perfect target picture, but look what I've done. I just looked at I have a short time, but this year is close to perfect. So they, the four here are um, very, at a very short point together, this year not. But when you imagine this is a wild boar, I would kill it definitely. And my focus was not at the right spot. So when I talk about um, hunting with the whipshot bow, I want to tell you something. I have not many power. I have not many muscles because I am not perfectly healthy. So I would definitely not go hunting in my condition. Why? When you see how white this arrow came into the target this year, this is not enough. I do not want to harm an animal that it had to suffer a lot. When I kill an animal, it had to be quick and exactly. And with this, I cannot hunt because I cannot do it. I, don't not, I do not want to have suffering animals. But when a strong person shoot with this bow, like Jörg Sprave, I would need two or three of these targets because there is so much power behind this bow. And uh, then <laughs> it is absolutely okay to go shooting, uh, hunting with this bow. But me and my condition, not. In the past, I um, do traditional bow shooting with a normal bow and it was always very rough for me to hold the bow till I know, okay, now I, I really hit the target. I, I used to have such a long time for this decision that, I t that my brain says, yeah, now you can shoot, that this was very rough for my muscles. Um, this is absolutely different with the whipshot bow. Also, when I fix it, it is very easy to hold the bow. And of course, with the red dot, um, it is very easily to shoot at the right point at the target. But you don't have to use it if you don't want it. You just can put it away. But if you buy the bow in the shop from Gogan, it is included also uh, extra string and six arrows. So you can use it, but you don't have to use it. In this video, I just want to show you the important details about the whipshot bow. All other details and informations are in the shop from Gogan. I will put the link to the shop here in the video description. If you want, check it out. Now you know a little bit about the bow, how it works, some details. But now I want to change my target, modificate it a little bit, because I have a piece of meat with me. And with this piece, I want to show you if it's really possible to hunt with this bow or to self-defense or not. My forest neighbor had yesterday a farm slaughter day. And they slaughter different pigs. I've got this beautiful piece of meat. It is a shoulder with bones, with feet, everything, because I want to have a realistic object where I can shoot at. And I know many of you would think now, oh, you shoot at a piece of meat. Don't do that. This is not good. I want to tell you something. 
after I shoot at this piece of meat, I will use it, I will cook it. You can come with me, I make a cooking video. I don't know what I'm making about of these pieces, so this is more than one meal, but you can see it and it will, I will not put this piece of meat in the trash. I just want to have a realistic target that you can really see if this bow is also great for hunting or for self-defense or not. And maybe imagine somebody bow this borrow, doesn't try it before and shoot then at a deer, for example. And it works not right and the deer is suffering. So I know this will not happen, but it is always better to uh, try the product out under realistic um, so that it is very realistic. I will try it out, fix it here at my target holder, shoot with different arrows at the piece of meat and then we can really see how it works. But again, I'm a small person, I have not many muscles. If there would someone shoot which have stronger muscles, it would work much better. So only that you know this is only my kind of shooting, other people possibly or sure make it better. This is my piece of meat and we have here three different bones, the food not included. Here's the shoulder, then is there a, a bone in this direction and in this direction. And I will shoot at this side of the meat and also at the other side, but the skin is very uh, massive there because it's a pig. When I shoot I will start with this side because when we imagine this is a wild boar we also want to shoot at this side and of course not at this part. Uh, I try out three different arrows. Uh, I have the hunting arrows, two different and the uh, arrow that I showed you before and I'm very looking forward how they are working. Like I told you, I have three different arrows. The arrows that I used before are down there and here are two different hunting arrows. I will show you them in detail later. So this here is razor's edge sharp. So I'm very looking forward how they are going inside of the piece of meat. I start with two hunting arrows. They are razor sharp. Then two other sharp arrows and at least the arrows that I shoot before for trying. Wow, this is the easiest position of the bow and look what the targets had, uh, the arrows had done. So the yellow one, these are the hunting uh, arrows and these are the sharpest one. And when we look at the other side, you can see that one of them is coming here out of the meat. Uh, of course, I do not show directly to the bone to the shoulder bone. The shoulder bone is here at this area. But I will try it now at next that I can see how it works if you hit a bone, if it also come true or not. Ah, so daneben. Okay, I would hit it better because I want to hit here the shoulder bone, but I only hit it twice with the hunting arrows. The bone stopped the arrow because of um, because the bow is so soft because of my um, muscle mass. If the bow would be in a stronger position, 
the arrows will hit the bone and come through the bone. I know it's possible, I see different videos um, about it. It is only because of my condition that my bow is so soft. So it really impressed me. It looked really great. Uh, I can only imagine how it looks if a person which has a lot of muscles use this bow. So great, I'm speechless. But now I want to put the meat away because I want to cook something with it at home. Otherwise it will um, get bad outside. Um, and then we just take a, took a closer look if it's great for self-defense and um, hunting or not. Of course, I don't shoot at home at meat. I normally use these typical uh, targets like this here or animals. But when I shoot at animals, I usually use animals that I don't like. And be honestly, who likes rats? Nobody. When we look at the picture now, we see that all the arrows are really at one point and this is what is important. So you can see I need to, to adjust the red dot a little bit to the right side because it is not uh, where I want to normally to um, hit the target. But what really matters is that all the arrows are at one space. And this is just a picture that we want to have, to have exact, precise and short um, shootings and just make fun to shoot with it. In Germany the law forbids us to do bow hunting, but it allows us to have the whip shot at home with um, arrows included that you can defend yourself. So I think for self-defense, for home defense, it's great. Uh, you see, saw how it works, how deep that the arrows come inside of the piece of meat. And I'm pretty sure if you stand in front of someone who will harm you with this bow, the person will run away. Uh, in Germany, we can defend ourselves if there is a danger. We can protect ourselves, but the situation had to be serious um, and a wood picker um, and you have always to choose the, the um, stuff that harms the person who will harm you not so much so you cannot uh, use when you have a knife and a gun you have to use the knife and not the gun this is the German law you don't have to understand it sometimes it is a little bit complicated um, but like uh, for, for bow hunting, uh, for, for hunting, sorry, the whip shot is great. So you saw what I've done with the arrows and I'm not strong. I will try out this test in the future again when I am stronger and hopefully with another person which is very strong that we can really show how this um, bow works with stronger persons. And it is important no matter what kind of weapon do you use that you can shoot at the right spot. Um, 
I know so many hunters and they often told me they don't shoot so often because what the hunter does is often not only shooting. So they check out the area, they check out how many animals they have, they had to do something in their wooden, uh, in, their, in their woods. And shooting is not the thing that they do the most. And then you have to try it um, from time to time that you can really shoot at the right point by the animal that the animal doesn't have to suffer. It's the same with the whip shot. You just had to know what you're doing. Then it's great for hunting. So also great for self-defense. I just can tell you it makes a lot of fun to shoot with it. Um, I put you the link to the shop where you can buy the whip shot. The go gun shop here down in the video description check it out there are all informations and maybe you want to try it also so do it it's so funny okay i'm out for today and i hope we see you soon again wish you a great time bye bye